In this Upbase review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the software Upbase. If you have any questions, please be sure to comment them down below and also be sure to leave a discounted link down there so you can always get your money's worth for Upbase. Upbase is a software that features tasks, a calendar, docs, files and a chat system all in one place. This is what you should see once you've actually first created your account which I'm going to go through really quickly for the beginners on how to actually go ahead and create a workspace. Then later on in the video, I'm going to dive deeper into each feature throughout the software. So straight off the bat, you want to go ahead and click create workspace where it says create a new workspace to continue. And now this section is where you go ahead and actually start creating your workspace for the software where you can access all of the main features. It says create a new workspace. This is where you go ahead and name your workspace and add any members that are on this software already. So we're gonna go ahead and name this workspace reviews for the sake of this review. And then you go ahead and add any members, but we don't know any members on this software. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep it as none. And we're gonna be the only ones on this workspace. Once you're happy with your workspace name and your members, you go ahead and click create workspace. And now you are on the main section of the software where you can actually dive into all of the features and people who are already on their workspace would now join in. So I'm gonna go through each feature really quickly and then throughout the review, I'm gonna dive deeper into each feature. Straight off the bat, up in the top left hand corner, we have your account and your workspace name. Right below that, we have the schedule section, the my task section, chat, bookmarks, add a bookmark, list, and then you can go ahead and get started with Upbase, tags, and add tags. So all of this on the left hand side navigation bar is pretty self-explanatory. Your schedule is what we are on right now with a calendar. Your my tasks is your task that you would actually have within the software. Your chat is where you go ahead and chat to people on this software. Bookmarks, you can go ahead and bookmark things. And then your list as well where you have your list and tags. So since we are on the schedule section, I'm gonna go through this section first. So if we click these three little lines to the left of schedule, you can go ahead and actually hide the left-hand navigation bar. And now below that, we can go ahead and see your calendar. So we are currently on the 10th of January, 2023. You can go ahead and go back a day or even go forward days if you wanna plan anything in the future. Below that, we have your daily notes, notepad and a timer. So on your daily notes, you can go ahead and actually type the slash to insert or apply a template and you can go ahead and start typing your notes. So you can go ahead and start typing stuff there like I just did. We'll just type reviews again for the sake of this review. And this is where you go ahead and start typing your notes. So you can type as much as you want and then go ahead and add loads of notes to your schedule. So to the right of daily notes section, you can also have a notepad which you can go ahead and again just type more notes and then uh, type as much as you want and pretty much again just plan out your schedule within the software it's a really good feature and a really good software to go ahead and just save yourself a lot of time speaking of time you can move on to the timer section to the right hand of the notepad and go ahead and play a timer or even change a timer if you want to. Pretty cool feature, you can go ahead and actually have a timer for yourself if you want to go ahead and time. To the right of all that, this big section, you can actually go ahead and change the settings if you want on the timer. You can change the reports and even make it bigger. To the right of that, you can change the day and actually add any tasks. If you wanna go ahead and click add task, you can go ahead and type in a task. And then once you've done that, you can check whether it has been done and it should disappear from your task section. And finally, to the very right hand of this software, you have your calendar where you have your time throughout the day. So again, tells you what time it is right now with this red line, which is a really cool feature. And it's a really simplistic calendar and time schedule. You can go ahead and see your daily planner here, all of your lists right there to the right. And then you can also see my tasks and show completed tasks if you want to. Next, we're gonna go all the way back to the left hand side now and move on to the my task section now this section is just a huge section where you can go ahead and actually plan your tasks see what you've done see what you need to do and again overall just see your tasks you can see the tasks assigned to me if again you have members or a workspace team and certain people assign tasks to certain people you can see tasks created by me and then you can see what has been done so we have none overdue as you can see here but you can actually add a task that's overdue you have today where you actually have your welcome to Upbase task, which is a pretty cool feature that the software actually provides a welcome message in the task section. 
you can add one right below that just the same way as we did with the overdue next seven days again you can add a task later and no due date that's just one if you want to go ahead and add a task but there isn't really a date that it needs to be completed so you can go ahead and go through these let's just add a task for the next seven days let's just type a task in and then once you've typed it in you can go ahead and click these three little dots and copy it and duplicate it and delete it if you want to or if you completed it you can click the tick and it is now completed all the way up here on this little bar here where it says task created by me if you go to the very right you can see this is actually a list section to the right of that we can move on to the board section which actually just creates a different type of layout where you can actually see your task so again overdue today next seven days later and no due date personally i think this is a better layout since you have a better understanding of what's actually going on and where all the tasks are you can change the group by due date all lists all tasks and again show the completed task which again now we have the two that we completed throughout the software next moving back onto the left hand side we are going to go onto the chat section on the chat section once you've clicked on it it is pretty much just like a normal chat section we have the channels and the direct messages so if you click on that you can actually see any channels that you are in you can go ahead and see we've got get started with up base channel that's what we are in and there is only one person in it you can also click x if you don't want to go onto that chat and quickly get off it. We also have the direct messages section that way again we don't have any direct messages because we don't know anyone but you can click add and if you've added anyone you'd go ahead and start a direct message with their account in that section that just popped up. You can also go ahead and click these three dots and show archive channels and again create a channel if you want to. It says create a custom channel this is where you'd name it and go ahead and click save. So I went ahead and named it reviews and I'm going to go ahead and click save and now we have our custom channel reviews where we can actually add files links mute notifications rename the channel archive and delete the channel now moving back onto the left hand side we have our bookmarks where we can actually add a bookmark once we click on that and it says add bookmark you can change the name right here task created by me and you can change the link if you want to so we're going to go ahead and just name it bookmark for the sake of a bookmark and then we're going to go ahead and change the icon if we want see what icon we want to choose whether it's a file or even a person and then change the color once you're happy with the settings you added for your bookmark you can go ahead and click save and now we have our personal bookmark on the left hand side where we can actually edit it and delete it and finally the lists and the tags you can go ahead and actually add a list by clicking a folder or a list and again change all these settings if you want to and also add a tags with the same little settings or page that it opens up you name it click a color and click save and that's pretty much it for this software and there you go that is it for the up base review overall i think it's a really great software that features a lot of cool features that i personally like those features is how easy and simplistic it is to go ahead and actually create your workspace as you can see at the very beginning we created it easily by just naming it and selecting a few settings I also like how you can actually have a workspace in general where you can actually work with other people and add them and pretty much just have all your tasks and chat sources all in one software. Would I recommend this to anyone? Yes, I absolutely would. Any teams looking to actually work together in a close environment on a software, this is probably one of the best out there. There are loads of other softwares out there like this, but I feel like this one just flows better with the actual layout of the software and how it works. Would I use it myself? Yes, I would. If I had a team to actually go ahead and create something with, this is the workspace I would use. I feel like it would actually go ahead and help the team to actually work better. Overall, I think it's a really great software. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.